has taken it upon himself, I will ensure that this thing is provided for. So you don't need to worry. If Allah takes care of the ants beneath the rocks and the stones and the bricks, then you and I are far bigger than those ants. Do you think he's going to miss us? If Allah has provided for the insects and the birds and the fish in the oceans, do you really think he's going to miss you and I? The difficulty is you don't realize and I don't at times that Allah Almighty is saying that he's going to provide what you need, not necessarily what you want. Big difference. What do you need to survive? Allah says, I've taken it upon myself to give that to you. You will survive. Say I have a hundred pounds and I need for my survival 50 pounds a day. For example, before I use my change on what I want, which is over and above what I need, am I going to take a portion of it and reach out to others who are in need? We're not talking about their wants, but their needs. Or am I not going to even think about them? Sometimes Allah Almighty uses you to reach out to others because he has written their provision through your pocket. So if you are going to be dedicated enough to give them from your pocket because Allah put it in your heart to give, then Allah has taken it upon himself to give you so that he can reach them with what came from what he gave you. Subhanallah. It's not that complicated if you think of it. The point here is when you pledge to do something for the sake of Allah, Allah opens the doors automatically.